Hi there, uh, my name's Phil Binks, Helpful Phil. I have just been through a rigmarole with Apple's Safari on my old iMac with Catalina. So I'm running the latest version released of Catalina. Today's date is, well, we're at the start of October 2021. I had a problem where, as you'll see on the screen just here, I was visiting a number of websites where you would normally be asked to sign in and uh, enter a password. Uh, these included a, a Zoom, the zoom.us website, and there are several others as well. And I've had a look at the online support forums, and there seems to be several other websites that do this. And the problem that comes up is Safari presents you with a page and in the middle of the page, it will say something like a problem repeatedly occurred with blah, 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 and the website that you are actually trying to enter. So this is a Safari issue. And as far as I'm concerned, it was on Catalina. So I did lots of Mac support type things. I'm pretty good at knowing what I'm trying to do. So I did a repair permissions. I emptied the cache. I got rid of a variety of uh, extensions, cleared all of those out. I then even went through to the point of installing Mac OS Catalina again, because I thought that was the only way to get a new version of Safari. And in fact, that's even in the Apple support uh, library that would tell you what to do if they uh, if you get that kind of problem. None of these things worked. So that then led me to contact Apple support just to see if I could get this running. And I've spent probably an hour on three different people with Apple support. Finally, one of the people said, well, listen, let's try one last thing. And remember, I've done everything, you know, including reinstalling Catalina. There was one last thing that we could try, and that was to download a new installer separately for Safari. So I'm going to give you the address where you can get this. And as far as I'm concerned, you need to not do not do any of the other things. Don't get rid of your extensions. Don't uh, do disk repair permissions if you don't have to. Don't get rid of your caches because it does clear out all of the remembered passwords and that kind of things. You might find yourself with a lot more work to do. So stop all of that and simply do this. If you've tried a couple of things already, then the thing to do is to go to this website. So on this website, you will see, give me a second, there is a, there's an address at the top of the screen just here. So if you copy that address, I'll try and put this in the description at the bottom as well. But this is a website called Mac Update. And um, they I was going to post the downloader myself but as i found it somewhere else i thought well i'll search the web to see if it's already available somewhere and it's available from this address and you can see here it actually says download so you can download the package file directly from here and that will install uh, it took about maybe 10 minutes to install at the most on my my mac it depends of course you know Speeds vary from different people to another and depending on what you've already got on your Mac. Anyway, if you download that and install that, that is the one thing that fixed it for me. So I wasted a good day, I would say, trying to get my Safari browser to work. I suggest you simply go to the download button here, download it and install it from there. That way you will keep all of your caches, all of your extensions, and you won't have to go through the repair permissions and deleting launch demons, all the kind of crap that you see uh, thrown at you from other websites. So obviously you are free to try those things, but you might end up just having to download the latest version of this installer. Remember this for me is for Catalina. I cannot recommend it for any other operating systems that because this is uh, the one that I'm running, uh, but it did fix that 
issue for me and it may well fix some other issues as well. Uh, Apple said that it was because of some installation errors, but I haven't had any installation. You know, it's not like I do anything different. So try this anyway. I'm hoping that that fixes it all for you. And uh, yeah, that's it really. Hopefully this will be helpful to you and save you a lot of time. Cheers now.